Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to find the HCF of 18, 32 and 48 by prime factorization. In this method we will divide the numbers separately and find the factors of the number and after finding the factors we are going to find the highest common factor in between the two numbers. So let's start by dividing the first number which is 18. So 18 is an even number, it is divisible by 2. 2 times 9 is 18. Now 9 is divisible by number 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 is a prime number, it is divisible by number 3. So 3 times 1 is 3. Let's divide number 32. Now 32 is also even number, it is divisible by number 2. 2 times 1 is 2, 1 is remainder, this becomes 12. And 2 times 6 is 12. 16 is again divisible by 2, 2 times 8 is 16, 8 is divisible by 2 again, 2 times 4 is 8, 4 is even number, it is divisible by 2, 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 1 is 2. Let's divide number 48, 48 is even, it is divisible by 2, 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 4 is 8. Again 24 is divisible by 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 12 is also divisible by 2, 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 times 3 is 6 and 3 is divisible by number 3, 3 times 1 is 3. Now we have divided all the 3 numbers and we got the prime factors of all the 3 numbers. Let's write the 3 numbers as the product of their prime factors. We will start with 18. 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. 32 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And 48 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now for finding the HCF of the three numbers we are going to find the common factors in between the three numbers here we see that number 2 is common to all the three numbers so we are going to circle 2 next we'll check 3 3 is not common to all the three numbers and that's all so the only common number in between the three numbers is number 2 so the hcf of the three numbers is number 2 so this is how by using the prime factorization method, we can find the HCF of the three numbers. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.